Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday new product post here at SparkFun Electronics. We've got all these lovely things to talk about, so let's dive right in and talk about the tip tinner. We've carried tip tinner for a little while now and we have a new supplier of it. This stuff is really great. It's this kind of like pasty goo. So if you have a soldering tip that's like super nar nar and has a bunch of crust and stuff all over it, plunge that guy right into the paste and it'll clean it right up. It's really amazing if you're doing a lot of soldering and you know over time you just get a lot of flux residue and everything else on the tip of your soldering iron. You just dunk it in this guy and literally it'll clean it up to like shining brand new. So if you do a lot of soldering, check out tip tinner. Let's say you need a USB cable for a project, but you don't want one of those you know, three foot or six foot or 10 foot long ones. You just need something really short. Check out these guys. These guys are a little, um, I think they're like six inch total USB cables. We have them both in the mini B and the micro B variety with the standard A connector on the other side. So if you're connecting two things that are really close by and you don't need that long bulky cable, check out these little short guys. Next up, we have a battery but not just any battery. This is an 18650 cell, but it's not just any 18650 cell. This is a tabbed 18650 cell. What that means is it has these two little tabs soldered to either end, and what you can do with these is you can actually put them in a large bank together and create a huge battery pack. I mean, this is pretty much the same thing that are in electric cars, just a bunch of these tabbed together into a massive bank for massive amounts of power. Um, I really love 18650 cells because it's slightly bigger than the size of a AA battery, um, but this is a lithium ion battery, so it is a 3.7 volt cell, so it works better with the, um, you know, like the boost regulators that we have, like the power cell or anything like that, that you can boost a 3.7 up to your 5 volts. And this guy has 2,600 milliamp hours worth of power, so it's actually got quite a bit of capacity to it. And if you put a big bank of these together, you're going to get a lot of juice. So we can do a project with a lot of power. Check out the 18650 cells. You can hook them together for more capacity or you can hook them together for more voltage. The choice is yours. Lastly, we have a couple new products from CircuitScribe. Uh, we started carrying the CircuitScribe last year sometime late in the year and it's actually a pretty cool product. Um, this year we have just the CircuitScribe pen by itself. You might be asking yourself, self, what is CircuitScribe? CircuitScribe is um, conductive ink pens with these um, cool little modules that kind of have magnets on them that snap to your paper. Uh, so this is the pen that we are selling by itself, um, very similar to like the bare conductive paint pen. The only difference is the bare conductive paint pen is much more like a um, thick paint or an ink. This is a lot more like a rollerball pen. So that's kind of the difference. One's a lot thicker and a lot... Um, just gloopier than the other, so you can do it for like, you can paint on large surfaces, that would be the bare conductive. This um, actually writes a lot more like just a standard ballpoint pen. Uh, so you can get a lot more fine lines off of it. And in addition to the pen, we also have the maker kit. The maker kit is this large kit, which has 17 pieces. It's very similar to the small kit that we have, where you have the little modules that plug in for the LEDs, and then you get the pen. To figure out what's inside this kit, um, I'm going to have Sara show you everything that's inside and even a little project on what you can do with it. The CircuitScribe kit is a collection of parts that are easy to use with the CircuitScribe pen. They're all magnetic, so they clip right in and you're ready to go. There are 17 parts included in the CircuitScribe maker kit, a 9 volt battery and a clip-in for the battery, which is magnetic. We've got a little two-pin breadboard where you can clip in any of the resistors or the diodes that are here. There's a switch, two by LEDs. This is our potentiometer with a fancy knob. Of course, the circuit scribe pen, a blinker, a photo sensor, a buzzer, an RGB LED, and a NPN transistor. So for my project using the circuit scribe parts, I have made an origami lantern using the RGB LED. With this lantern, you can start it off red like I have it now, or you can change it to any of the colors by pressing the top. So the scribe pen allows you to do a lot of unique stuff with the circuits. So after playing around for it, with it for a little, I realized that I could make this design where if I touched it here, it would go through all of the resistance of all of the pen and be dull, but as you shorted it, it would get brighter and brighter. 